Good evening again, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome you to the 2016 Senior Athlete Dinner and Awards Program. My name is Bud Cole. I'm the Athletic Director here at Ewing High School and very proud to be so. Uh, first thing I'd like to do is for us to give a round of applause to Angel and the cafeteria staff who once again have done a, a tremendous job. Uh, not only cooking the food, but did the table settings and the place settings, so outstanding job by them at, again as well. Uh, first thing I'd like to do uh, also is the Ewing, the Ewing athletic family lost a couple of dear members uh, recently. Uh, Steve Mensch, longtime athletic director, football coach, phys ed teacher here, uh, passed away recently, as did Mike Tucker, our longtime bowling coach. And if we could, I would like to have a moment of silence on their behalf. Thank you very much. Uh, those two gentlemen were just pillars of the athletic community here at Ewing, and they will be you know, severely missed. Uh, next, I'd like to introduce to you our superintendent of schools in Ewing, Mr. Michael Nitty, who will have several remarks. Thank you. I told Dr. Logan my high school graduation speech, which is two weeks and one day away, if you're counting. It's currently at 58 minutes. This is my warm-up, so everyone get comfortable. Enjoy your meal. Uh, I'm kidding. Uh, good evening. On behalf of the Board of Education, I'd like to uh, recognize two members who took the time to be here today. Uh, Mr. Anthony Messina, the Board of Education, please welcome him. And Mr. Bruce White of the Board of Education, please say hello. It is an honor to welcome you all to this event and express my thanks and congratulations to all the student athletes who will be recognized this evening. It is certainly challenging to be a student athlete today, and I wanted to express my respect for all the students here this evening for balancing the considerable demands of the academic and athletic realms and demonstrating the determination and sacrifice that is needed to be a part of a high school varsity sport. As student athletes, you literally wear uniforms emblazoned with Ewing High School's name. And I want to thank you all for serving as positive ambassadors of this school and the Board of Education. You have consistently demonstrated sportsmanship, integrity, and pride. I also want to express my gratitude to Athletic Director Mr. Bud Cole and to all the coaches who are here today for all the work they do with our athletes, for all their time, sacrifice, things away from their family, and everything that they do to help their student athletes grow as students, athletes, and people. And finally, thank you to the parents for shuffling your children back and forth between practices and games, for having high expectations for your children, and for supporting our athletic programs. In closing, I want to offer my special thanks to all these seniors for all that they have done throughout their careers in representing the Ewing Public Schools. It has been a pleasure, from my perspective, watching you achieve on the various athletic arenas throughout your scholastic career, and I wish you the very best in the future. As we will see this evening, we certainly have had our share of success this year, and I hope it continues for all of you in your post-high school careers. Thank you, and everyone have a great evening. Thanks. Next on the agenda is to call up all the student athletes to give them their varsity letter plaques. Good evening. Our first senior award winner, Alexander Adamat. Winner track, cross country, spring track.
Abigail Bergstrom. Sarah Bystricki. Jenna Capuano. Caitlin Kleckner. Cameron Conan. Claire Eric. Steven Ettinger. Joshua Everett. Mark Francisco. Howard Gamage. Jacqueline Gummel. Joshua Hughes. Natalie Jessman. Naya Nay Jones. Charity Kelly. <laughs> Kellyanne Krepp. Morgan Laughlin. <laughs> Princess Lane. <laughs> Jalen Morgan Sanders. Rayana Peterson. <laughs> David Pigero. <laughs> Isaac Oshwe. Justin Porter. Cameron Potts. Alondra Rivera Maldonado. Savannah Ross. <laughs> Jeremy Samuel. <laughs> Raquan Smalley. Nicole.
whole ticket. Jasmine Tinsley. Aldo Uz Barak. Jasmine Vereen. Erica Weber. Maya Wilson. Veronica Wilson. Dion Hale. Mira Mohammed. Next on the agenda, we are going to have the coaches uh, present certificates to the, their choice for outstanding senior from their team. Unfortunately for the baseball program, there is a Legion game tonight, so uh, the Legion team is taking priority over the awards night. Uh, but I would like to at least just mention that the baseball outstanding senior this year was Zach Frieda. Zach was a pitcher on our team and, and ultimately really became our number one pitcher uh, throughout the season. So Zach had an excellent year. Next I'd like to introduce uh, for boys basketball, Coach Shelley Deer. First, I would like to congratulate all the seniors for all their hard work and dedication to Ewing Athletics and to the special award winners this evening. On behalf of the coaching staff, we would like to thank our administration, board members, Mr. Nitty, Dr. Logan, Mr. Cole, our athletic director, Karen Lawton, our secretary for athletics, Dave Salon, our athletic trainer, and all the parents in here and throughout the years for helping us out make this a successful program. Thank you very much. Again, we were very successful. On behalf of my three seniors that are here this evening, I would like all three of them to stand. Dion Hale, Howard Gamage, and Justin Porter. A lot of pressure was on them to have a successful season this year because we graduated six seniors and nobody thought that they were going to be good and they end up turning everything around and being 24 and 5 because of all their hard work in the off season and also during the season and they did a heck of a job so I'm very thankful for the three seniors. <laughs> to my parents specifically, they uh, have a lot of work that they have to do for me because we're always in the gym, we're always working, we're always on the, in the weight room and things like that but I want to thank my parents specifically, Booster Club president especially, thank you very much, I appreciate everything. For our outstanding senior, this particular senior has to go through a lot more than every other senior. Um, he was the one who texts everybody, practice is on, don't forget we have practice, don't forget they have to pick up this, don't forget they have to do that, and it's a constant 
communication back and forth. Also, he represents with character, um, and that has a lot to do with our program. We don't just do X's and O's and wins and losses, but we also pick our senior about character. And he's just a special person. He's very, um, he's very conscientious in getting things done. He's conscientious in doing the right things and being the proper person around the, the school. And in essence, he's going to be honored in another week or so because he's representing you and Kai as the CBC Sportsmanship Award. And no further ado, I'd like to bring up Justin Porter. representing us at Montclair State University playing basketball. <laughs> Next, I'd like to bring up Mike Reynolds for girls basketball. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank all the girls that uh, closed out their career this year. Um, we had a really great year. I think you all agree that we put on a nice a uh, number of performances for the parents uh, and the increased number of fans that came to watch us this year. Uh, we had a lot of fun while we were doing it, so congratulations on a great season. Uh, representing uh, the team this year uh, is going to be Rayana Peterson. Please join me. Uh, Ray was a four-year varsity player, um, including starting the last three. Uh, brought a great deal of versatility to the floor, uh, step inside, outside. Uh, a couple things that she really did well this year for us uh, was rebound. We were playing four smaller players around one bigger player. Uh, she did a great job of inserting her skill uh, to wherever the team sort of needed it to happen on a game-to-game -game basis. Uh, she showed a lot of resilience, fought through a number of uh, hard injuries over her career, uh, but ultimately was playing her best basketball in games that counted. Uh, this was one of the best years that we've had in the last 11 or 12 years. We finished 22 and 5. Uh, great performance against TCA in a very tight game in the county tournament. Uh, and again, when we got to the arena and ultimately reached the finals, you know, we didn't quite pull off the comeback, but after a very long and bizarre rain delay, believe it or not, um, you know, she kind of sparked us as we came out of that huddle and we went on this, you know, sort of incredible run and we came up a little bit short. Uh, but she was certainly playing her best uh, in the best moments. Uh, she's going to continue her academic and athletic career next year at Lincoln University, and I wish her well. Congratulations. Uh, next up, we're going to have the bowling team. This year's outstanding uh, senior for the bowling team was Brianna Jones. Uh, the, the girls' bowling team won the Burlington County League uh, Liberty Division title. We, we bowl in Burlington County League because the CBC has no other schools that have a bowling team. Uh, our girls' bowling team was undefeated, not just in match play, but they did not lose a game in the competition in the Burlington County Scholastic League this year. So. Uh, they had a, just a tremendous, tremendous season, and Brianna was a huge part of that as uh, this outstanding senior. Uh, next for cheerleading, uh, Coach Jessica Citron. Is she here tonight? Uh, I also do not have the outstanding senior for the cheerleading, so uh, we will now next move on to cross country. Right. Cross country, the outstanding senior was David Bigero. Uh, David cannot be here tonight because he's actually at a dinner where he's receiving a scholarship that if he does not attend the dinner, he does not get the scholarship. So I think he made a great choice in going to a dinner where he's getting money as opposed to just a plaque or a certificate. Uh, next, we have field hockey coach Leslie Conan.
of field hockey had a great season this past fall. Anchoring the defensive unit with superb stick work, strong marking ability, and killer reverse drives. Her enthusiasm at practice every day kept her teammates motivated, always quick with a song, a dance, a joke, to get the girls up and ready for the next drill or sprint in the brutal August heat. I also admire the senior for all her hard work, heart, and determination. Coming back from a medical setback, she really worked diligently in the offseason this past summer, getting herself strong and fit for her last best season. Well, mission accomplished, Veronica Wilson, our, two, our 2016 Field Hockey Outstanding Speaker. the microphone I'm sorry it's nothing against anything here I'm not a microphone type person I'm a naturally loud person I'm not as loud as coach D'Alessio but I'm loud uh, a couple things first are there any uh, cheerleaders here can I have the uh, cheerleaders come up here please Crowd. To me, ladies, you are all outstanding. Uh, as, the, as the head football coach, you know, we have the cheerleaders. We have the marching band. Anyone in here in the marching band? Anyone in here uh, color guard? Okay, sometimes we have some crossovers there. It's okay. I just thought I would ask. Uh, but the cheerleaders do a fantastic job for us. I often tell a story, and I'm not going to go as long as I swear as, as Coach B, but when I arrived in this building in 2003, we had five cheerleaders. And I was coaching JV girls basketball here, and I remember like we were in a timeout, and usually like you can be loud in a huddle, and you don't have to worry about you know people hearing what you're saying. And I just was, I wanted to be like real quiet talking to the girls because there was no noise being made because we had five cheerleaders. And I have to be honest with you, it was kind of embarrassing. They were not organized, and it was it was bad. But. These girls are definitely a representation of what Ewing is now because they go to competitions. They are fantastic at our games. I just wish we could have given them more push-ups this year, uh, and I promise to do a better job moving forward. Uh, these are our cheerleaders. I have a, a few football players in attendance as well. Can all, all my senior football players stand up, please? special class to me. They've been with me since I've been the head football coach here. So they helped attempt and, and, and we're working still towards changing around what we're doing and what we're building. But what you're looking at over there is the foundation of the Ewing High football program here. So thank you, gentlemen. Uh, my senior athlete tonight, Josh Hughes. Josh is probably the uh, smallest guy in the room, so... <laughs> jo Josh is exactly what you want from a senior athlete. He's an excellent leader. He was a captain for us. He's been a, a two-year starter. He was first team, all CBC, <coughs> offensive lineman. He's an Eagle Scout. Never had an Eagle Scout before. Now I got an Eagle Scout. <laughs> he embodies everything what we're trying to do with our program. I say to these kids all the time, we are not any better than anybody who's come before us. Ewing High football was here long before we all got here and will be here long after we're gone. And all we are is responsible for the emblem. And you don't have to look any further than, it, than a young man in Josh Hughes who did everything asked in terms of 
representing Ewing and Ewing football and his family the right way. Speaking of his family, Mr. and Mrs. Hughes are here. Quick story about Mr. and Mrs. Hughes. I had a parent meeting one time and the parents leave and, and Mr. and Mrs. Hughes are still sitting in there. And it's, you know, as a coach, you're always like, okay, what's this meeting gonna be about? And I approached them and they said, you know, coach, we just wanna know what we can do for you. We see you're doing a lot. What can we do for you? Is there anything we can help you with? And I was blown away. And I can't tell you how much that meant to me for you asking that. Because oftentimes, I just try to do whatever I can to make sure everybody's happy and everybody's pleased. And the fact that you took time to ask if you could do anything for me and to try to please me, I really appreciate that. So thank you very much and thank you for raising an outstanding individual. Josh, you Next on the agenda would normally be golf, but believe it or not, this year there were no seniors on the golf team. Uh, so that made it a little bit difficult. Also, uh, what I'd like to do is make sure that, Drew, you give Josh his certificate. He said some really great things about him, but we're going to bring Josh back up and give him a certificate. <laughs> Next up, I'd like to bring Kevin and Coach Kevin Anderson for boys lacrosse. Uh, it's always tough following up with Coach Bessel. I'm going to use the microphone if you guys don't mind. Uh, let's see, this year's uh, lacrosse program was a very successful year. Uh, it's my fourth year with the program, so the seniors had a ton to do with it. Uh, it was great to... to kind of joined the program when they did it as freshmen. And uh, I couldn't be any more proud of the, uh, the senior that's gonna represent us tonight. Uh, Cameron Potts, come on up. So Cameron was with us uh, for all four years. Um, starter uh, at Attack for us for three years. Um, We've broken all kinds of records the last couple seasons. This season we finished with 134 goals. Uh, the most goals we've had in the past was 98, so we blew that out of the water. Um, Cameron being an attackman um, was a huge part of that. Um, in his four years with us, he smashed the records for uh, most goals scored, most assists, and overall score. Um, so he's, he's done a great job on the field. Uh, but more than that is after Cameron leaves here, um, he's still going to be a big part of the program with all that he's given our younger uh, athletes on, on both uh, the lacrosse team and you know the, the younger athletes outside of the lacrosse program. Um, he's, he's done a great job as a senior. It's really tough because hey, you want to work, you want to make that money, you want to do you know you have other other responsibilities. Uh, Cameron's joined the U.S. Army. He's going to be fighting for our country when he leaves here uh, this year, and he's had a lot to do with them as far as training and, and going away. Um, during the week, and uh, he's always, you know, found time to, to stick with the lacrosse program and, uh, and really set a great example for the rest of the younger crew. So I couldn't be any more proud of him. Uh, next, I'd like to introduce uh, girls lacrosse uh, coach Cunningham. for girls lacrosse had a pretty amazing and historic season. Not only did she record 45 goals this spring, but she also reached the milestone of a 100 goal score. While this is super impressive, it's not what I admire most about her. It's the way she always puts the team first, doing whatever, doing whatever needs to be done to get the win. A ground ball pick up off the draw, a check in the midfield, or a pass inside the eight meter to an open player. I am so proud of her and all of her accomplishments as her teammates which speaks volumes of the love and respect they have for her. So congratulations, Kellyanne Krepp, our 2016 <laughs>
As you heard from the coaches, both of these outstanding senior athletes in the lacrosse programs scored 100, their 100th goal this season. As a, as a memento for the rest of their time here on God's Great Earth, we would like to present them with plaques that have the ball that they actually scored the 100th goal with and a picture that commemorates the occasion. So there was a shrewd lawyer, he said, wow, this is easy money, I'll go over on my lunch break. So he goes over to the doctor's office, and he says, I have trouble with my sense of feeling. Oh, my son, 
nothing to worry about. In my country, China, we use herbal medicine and acupuncture. Let me get the needle. He sticks me in the finger and says, ouch! That'll be $20, you are cured. <laughs> so then, he says, I gotta get my money back. And $100. So he goes again the next week. He says, doctor, I have trouble with my sense of taste. I can't taste anything. Oh, uh, not the problem. Nurse, bring bottle number 120. It's an herb, herbal liquid. Let me put a few drops on your tongue. He says, oh God, it tastes like gasoline. You're good. that it be $20. So he goes back a third time, the following week. He says, I gotta get my money back now. This is a challenge. So he says, doctor, I have trouble with my sense of hearing. Nurse, bring bottle number 120. He says, wait a minute. He says, that's that herbal gasoline you gave me. You're cured. That'll be $20. Finally, he says, that's it. I know I'm gonna get him this time. He goes back the following week. Come to me. He goes back. <laughs> All right, he goes back uh, the following week and he says, Doctor, I can't see. He says, I can't, I don't have anything to cure you. Here, here's the money, here's the hundred dollars. He looks at him and says, That's only twenty. He says, You're cured, you owe me twenty. That's kind of traditional way I tell a joke. Anyway, I want um, our seniors uh, to please stand up. We have four of them. Actually, we have five. Sammy was our square keeper this year. <laughs> to me, uh, you know, softball, it's a team sport. Uh, in my book, they're all outstanding. Erica Weber, uh, Jenna Capuano, uh, class valedictorian, um, scholarly athlete for NJSIAA. She won a scholarship there a couple weeks ago. Um, I make it a, a requirement that you got to be in the National Honor Society to make the team. Uh, it's been that way the last three years, and it's going to be that way again next year because we have a number of juniors that have also made it for next year. Uh, thank you, girls. I want to bring down our. I think I have co-winners. Okay, oh, here we go. Uh, Sarah Bystricki, please come down, and Sarah Beardy. We had a nice uh, season this year, 20 and six, and we got a, uh, a share of the co-championship for the CBC. And we couldn't do it without, you know, of course our team, but especially to these two players. I consider them to be like uh, co-MVPs. And I like, I like, whenever I see them in the hallway, I'll say, they're always together. Sarah, and they both turn around. See, they just turn around. <laughs> um, Sarah, so hard, uh, which one? Sarah Bearden, so hard working in the weight room, and nobody has to tell her to go in. She's there, you know, all winter long. And then she has all these uh, pitching uh, tools. You know, I've seen them at clinics, and she has them all, and she probably has some that she invented. But they're for wrist snaps, they're for throwing curves, and she's working all the time, before the game, during practice. And um, this year, she led the county with strikeouts, 147 strikeouts. Uh, I think she led the county in wins. She had 16 wins and should have had more, but that's the way it goes. And, um, and for her career, 335 strikeouts.
Um, it's going to be, I mean, super hard to replace. And then we have Sarah Maestricki. Again, uh, works hard all the time. Uh, works the, uh, with, uh, you know, weights and she's always with, you know, Sarah Beard working out somewhere. And she's a left-handed hitter. I uh, love lefties. <laughs> and they're both lefties. Uh, and she had 141 career hits. She's the 15th player to get over 100 hits. Not only that, 110 RBIs. And not only that, 104 runs scored. The first player in school history, probably the county, to get over 100 in all three categories. I call that hitting for the cycle. So those are our outstanding seniors. Sarah Bird. Sarah Bird.
she worked really hard and had some really great, really great things happen for her this season. And I'm really sad to see her go. But she's really mature, really responsible, really independent. And you didn't really have to tell her to go do her work. She was always out kind of doing work already. Um, so we're going to miss you a whole lot and wish you the best of luck next year.
she came in with a class of 12 um, to the tennis team. And when we first started coaching, I think we had maybe 12 girls on the team total. Um, for those of you that don't know tennis, there's only seven spots. So she's one of 12 seniors graduating this year. She did not start her freshman year, but she worked extremely hard in order to make a starting position her sophomore year, moved up higher her junior year, and made it all the way to second singles her senior year. Um, we have the hardest conference for our sport. It is the hardest conference, and we would go up against really tough com opponents, and I'll be on the far side of the courts, and you would hear her teammates saying, how's Vanna doing? And you'd look over, and you wouldn't see any kind of tell. She'd be very good at poker. There's no tell. She's not upset, and she's not overexcited. But when I walked over to the court, let's say we're playing against Princeton, she's a mess. I'm walking over, coach, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to, what am I gonna do against this girl? This girl's probably been playing since she was five or six years old. Savannah started her freshman year. What do I do? My, my kids can probably tell you the same two things I say for every single match. Learn something and have fun. So I tell Savannah, anytime during this time, Learn something from this player. She has tremendous talent, yes. She has a lot of experience, yes. But you can still learn something from her. And she would take that. She would learn, she would learn one thing about her game that she could use on her next opponent. And this was during a match. Outside of matches, she was there, hitting against the wall if there was no one there to play with. And she was just a tremendous leader and a huge worker. So our senior athlete is Savannah Ross. Again. Um, I get the honor of uh, coaching multiple sports uh, all year round at the school and uh, teaching a large majority of your sons and daughters, if not directly. Uh, they're certainly in the gym when I'm down there, so um, it's my pleasure. My senior uh, uh, outstanding wrestler was a really tough decision. Um, Steve Manager. <laughs> Anyway, he's a two-year uh, captain. Um, we do an award with the wrestling team called the Iron Medal Award. 
at the end of each season. Um, if you make every practice, wrestle every match, and make weight at every single moment that I actually make weight uh, in matches, um, which isn't always easy in wrestling, uh, you win the award. Um, he won his junior year. Unfortunately, he ran into a bit of a shoulder injury uh, about halfway through his senior year, uh, which looked at the time like he was going to be out the rest of the season. He ended up only missing about a week. So that shoulder injury uh, just narrowly prevented him from being a two-time Iron Devil Award winner, which is a feat in its own. Um, he, his freshman and sophomore year, uh, looking at him as a wrestler, you wouldn't have thought much, uh, really, like, you know, tell he wanted to be a really good wrestler, he just couldn't put it together. Then his junior year, he figured out how to do this move called the dump. And for a period of time, kids didn't know it was coming and it was unstoppable. He ended up beating a kid that uh, advanced regions um, and a couple of really tough kids along the way. Uh, and he was really, you know, really, really good at that. Uh, he's also probably one of the more emotional uh, wrestlers uh, in winning and defending uh, advantages into a wrestling match. You know what I'm talking about. There you go. There you go. Uh, and finally, uh, I'd be really uh, feel bad not mentioning uh, his family. Uh, his mother and his father have been as a big part of this wrestling team as Steve has. Uh, his mother runs the, the uh, booster club that we have. Um, and when I say she runs it, they Run it like it's in their hands. I don't need to do anything. Um, oftentimes they're like emailing me, texting me, letting me know like what else do we need to do? What else can we do? We have this idea. I'm just like go run with it. Do what you need to do. Um, they set up everything for me. It's I there's no worry when it comes to that. Um, so luckily, uh, Stephen's sister is still a manager. I don't lose them. Although they're gonna try to start training other people, and I don't know if they'll let them go uh, so easily. Um, Stephen. Yeah, great things in the future. I knew that we had an outstanding senior cheerleader. And when Matt came up to give the wrestling outstanding senior, I knew we had his certificate as well. Uh, apparently these certificates are nice, but they stick together. So I have now located in the pile the outstanding senior cheerleader. And even though the coach is not here, I would like to present the outstanding senior for the cheer team to Nicole Tiggett. call bigger awards. I don't know if they're necessarily bigger, uh, but they are certainly, uh, you know, very important. Uh, you heard earlier tonight that our representative at the NJSIAA Scholar Athlete Luncheon, uh, which is probably one of the biggest luncheons you'll ever go to, uh, with probably, uh, Coach B was there, this is probably close to 1,500 people, correct? Uh, and if you think we try to do a good job with getting everybody fed and getting everybody's awards out quickly, they do an amazing job of getting everybody fed and literally close to a thousand uh, scholarships passed out in a relatively short amount of time, probably under two and a half hours most of the time. Uh, that representative this year for Ewing High School was Jenna Capuana. Jenna, just stand up for a moment. seen her obviously earlier tonight, um, but I did want to recognize that outstanding achievement. Uh, also, uh, we have two athletes, you heard about them earlier tonight as well. Uh, CBC Conference always uh, nominates a male and a female from each high school as their outstanding uh, senior that's a sportsman. Uh, and we have the coaches vote on that and nominate these, these individuals. And tonight I just would like to call their name out here. They will be getting their plaque at the CBC um, award dinner next Wednesday night the 15th. 
But those two uh, representatives from Ewing High School this year are Justin Porter and Claire Aaron. Uh, next on the list, uh, we have the Outstanding Female Senior Athlete. Now, both the Outstanding Male and Female Senior Athlete uh, is chosen uh, really on a mathematical basis. Uh, it is one-third athletic, I'm sorry, one-third academic achievement, two-thirds athletic achievement. Uh, the athletic achievement is really varsity letter calculation, and we rank them uh, by number of uh, varsity letters one, and also by the academic pieces of the SAP scores and their class rank. Uh, and this year's outstanding female senior athlete is Veronica Wilson. Our outstanding male senior athlete, uh, we talked about earlier today, it's David Figaro. Uh, he is uh, accepting that money scholarship tonight, uh, but he is the outstanding male senior athlete. Right, the final two awards are the Karis McGurk Award. They are uh, for the outstanding seniors, and it is chosen by two-thirds academic standards and one-third athletic standard. Um, the, uh, the gentleman that the board is named for, you can read on the back of your program, gives you a little history uh, of you know, what their connection was. They were in the Parents Club um, in the, I guess, the late 60s of Ewing High School. And, and they were really kind of the gentleman who started not just this award that was named after them, but started the parents really having a big impact on the athletic programs, programs at the high school. Uh, the winner for the female uh, is our scholar athlete and valedictorian Jenna Capuan. And our Karis McGurk male award winner for this year is Alex Adamant. As we come to the end of the program, uh, you've heard a lot of people you know, giving thanks and, and accepting accolades. Um, one of the things that, that I definitely want to do personally is thank not only Mr. Nitty and Dr. Logan, um, Board of Education members who are present, the board members who are not present. Uh, I'd like to thank the coaches who put in more time and effort and, and really care a lot more about their student athletes than I think sometimes they get credit for. Um, they generally, genuinely, genuinely really do care about their, their student athletes, uh, many times like they're their own kids, and I think that comes across as you see them calling up their outstanding seniors year after year. Um, one of the people who's not here tonight that things would definitely not run as smoothly as they do without her is my secretary, Karen Law. Karen is a tremendous, tremendous asset, a great hire for the district, and I want to tell you that she is tough as nails because last Wednesday she came into work, uh, didn't want to leave, ended up having to go to the nurse because of abdominal pain, had emergency surgery, and has basically been texting me every day since, making sure that everything was okay and chomping at the bit to come back to work. So she's gotten the doctor somehow to allow her to start coming back to work tomorrow without doing any heavy lifting. 
and I think we'll be able to get her to do that. But I think I would be remiss if I didn't say anything about Karen and the tremendous job that she does. Uh, this year, as the coaches know and the athletes know and the parents probably know by this time, this year for busing was just absolutely horrendous. And it wasn't just here at Ewing High School, it was across the state of New Jersey. And for us to get all the way through all three seasons with, yes, there were some problems, and yes, we had delays, and yes, we had other things. Well, we got every team to every location they needed to get to. And that is just an incredible, incredible accomplishment with what we had to deal with. We had transportation. who usually doesn't deal with our athletic buses at all. Also doing yeoman's work to get us buses. We went in almost every kind of vehicle there could be to get to these events. And, and in all honesty, I think a lot of times the coaches and the athletes were really happy because if we couldn't get a school bus from somebody, we got the coach buses. And the golf team a couple of times went on the little party limos that you see sometimes. So while it might have been a problem sometimes, other times it was really kind of a treat. So hopefully, as, you know, as we get into next year, we start to do our traveling and our bus plans, we don't have anything close to those kind of problems. But in all honesty, it was way, way better now that it's all over than I ever thought it would be because there were lots of days where we had teams that were leaving at 2.30 and it's 1.45 and we're not sure that we have a bus. And if you think that's not stressful, I think I aged about 10 years in this one year. It was very, very difficult. The, the other thing that I want to say is that, you know, a lot of times I think the negative part of sports is that people forget what it's really about. Yeah. We give awards tonight and we, we are talking about tremendous accomplish, accomplishments and we should. Right? But the number one reason why kids play sports is to have fun and be with their friends. And you know as well as I do, and I'm a living proof of this, I have friends today that I've had for 40 years because I was on a team with them and became friends with them. And that's what it's all about. As I look around this room and see the friendships that have been developed, that's what sports are all about. Not about who wins and loses. Yes, you want to do your best, you want to compete, you always want to try to win. But the ultimate goal is to be a team player, to be a great teammate, and our kids do that day in and day out. And for that, you should give yourselves a round of applause. One of the things that makes me most proud is that everywhere our teams go, no matter how difficult some of the situations they're put in, and trust me, last week playing in a state sectional semifinal game at Steiner was kind of as bad as it can get, but yet our athletes and our coaching staff handled that situation just tremendously and as well as you could possibly handle it. And in all honesty, I'm telling you right now, and this is not sour grapes, our softball team should be going to the state final because that's where Steiner is now because they were given a game on a call that is a rule book call that the umpire did not know and didn't understand and made just a terrible, terrible error. And there's nothing we can do about it. And I give you credit for handling that as well as you did. That's a tremendous job. The last thing is this, student athletes, if your parent is right there at the table with you, hug them and thank them because I'm telling you right now, I am now a parent of not one but two young boys who are playing baseball, who are on different teams, who are going in all kinds of directions, all kinds of different ways. And your parents have allowed you to get to this point with many, many, many miles of travel and many, many, many hours of giving up their time for you. And they love to do it, trust me, because I know as a parent, there is nothing I like better than watching my boys play and seeing the smiles that they have on their face. And you'll know that too someday when you're parents, but that is just a tremendous, tremendous thing to go through as a parent and an athlete to be able to share that experience together. So, if you're not close enough to give the hug, when you leave and go home tonight, understand exactly how much that commitment has meant 
for you to be able to be where you are right now. Last thing is this. I have the best job in the world because I get to work for all of you and with all of you. There's only one thing that in all honesty I would have rather done more. And I'm not gonna be a professional baseball player. So this is a great number two to fall back on. I wanna wish you all the most success possible in the rest of your life, in your academic career as you move on, and in every endeavor that you take on. You will be successful because you will learn how to handle adversity, because you learn how to compete in the situation, and you are going to be, from here on, great representatives as you have been to Ewing High School and the Ewing community. Enjoy the last couple of weeks that you have in your high school career. Good luck to all. Good night. Have a great night's conversation.